I thought I smelt something crawling around in my temple. I don't think I expected to find you here. He's a handsome lad, isn't he? So tell me, what happened to your little friend? enough to raise the dead. Ooh. Tell me, where did you hear this? Who told you? My legends are spreading far. And perhaps you are simply here to confirm it for yourself. A morbid curiosity. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, you have a very pleasant smell, you. It is, isn't it? I admire your gallantry, human. Musing about the temperature faced with one such as me. I've read a great deal about humans. The way emotions tear your hearts apart. Fascinating, really. And so I 
suppose. With your own heart in chains, is why you climbed this tall mountain, braved the flats of magma, and found your way into my domain. All for this stupid boy and the chance to bring him back. I am almost tempted to say I admire it. Did you not stop to think? Did you not stop to think that the legends of fire restoring life to the dead might have all just been a ruse? The inventions of a dragon who hasn't been able to have his fill. You believed it willingly, didn't you? Hmm. Such is the downfall of humanity. The obsession, the whining, and the belief that your heart is true. No. Your heart is selfish. You bring this boy here in an attempt to selfishly undo the passage of fate. I'm not so sure. I want to help you. You want your little lover boy back. And you came to me without a second thought. Is that right? Well... Perhaps my mind can be swayed with a little convincing. Come closer. Closer. And try not to look over the edge of the cliff. You might just see the rest of me. And I wouldn't want you to get scared now. <laughs> human like you, wondering how simple it might be to pick you up in the palm of my hand and crush you along with your little servant. that would be. You do have a pleasant smell, don't you? I 
do think you're a trifle selfish. I recognize the robes you wear. I recognize those badges, emblems, the insignia upon your chest. You are royalty. to you. One whose life is already yours to command. A knight. Mm. I see your game now. Little human. A partnership with one who can't even argue back with you. Who will bow his head and do as he's told. I sense a fragile ego on your shoulders, little one. I suppose the heart is fickle, and if the boy has fallen for you, perhaps there's no going back for you. Your heart is decided, and now you're here to bring him back after your mistake. Sending a man you love into battle. What kind of lord are you? seem like one who leads with selfishness. And I can see in your eyes... Oh... Oh, little one. I can see in your eyes... A glimmer. The glimmer of the eye of a traitor. You seem impressed. My horns, sharper than swords. My body, taller than a castle. My wings, wider than an ocean. You came here to bring your lover back. But you wonder how things might have been. Had you found yourself here before your heart was fixed. Mm. You smell good. 
good and to taste even better. <laughs> So, if all you have is one little earnest boy knight, reach me. Why should I bring him back to you? No. I'll tell you again. Little human. Little sweet smelling human. Drop to your knees upon the rocks and beg for his life, or I shall eat you both. Go on, little one. Don't be shy. Get a little closer. him away. Let all of those people in your kingdom continue to be enslaved. Live in a little cottage. Read books together. And watch as the world burns around you. I assume your selfishness has no bounds. So you mustn't. Allow me to speculate. <laughs> oh, didn't have the chance. Oh, he did. I've heard many things from your corner of the land. The wind, it snakes down here on occasion, and I hear whispers, whispers from birds, eagles, creatures, they tell me all sorts of things, how he rode into that battle with confidence, and a fluttering in his heart. got everyone he loved killed. All except his little lord. His little, little, little lord. Fair of skin and sweet of voice. Who he so desperately wanted to be with. feel sorry for him. Oh. 
I almost want to allow you to have him back. But where would the fun be in that? Hmm? I'm going to have you work for it. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I could leave you here. Smash the door behind you. I could eat you quickly. Savor your sweet taste. Tease your pathetic little body on its way down my throat. And then give you a quick death. Or I could trap you. Slowly watch you starve. Watch you stare at his lifeless body, wondering what you could have done to bring him back. Wondering what you could have done differently to save him. And slowly, surely, gradually, over months begin to realize that it was all your fault. <laughs> think I am. Why don't you back me again? <sighs> Why don't you kneel down, shut those pretty little eyes, and beg me once again? the spirit. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Here's what I'd like you to do first. There's that patch over your breast. It has the insignia of your kingdom upon it. I want you to tear it off and cast it off the cliff. Mm -hmm. 
And if you don't, if you can't muster those weak little arms to tear that off, I shall bite it off myself. And sadly, take a good chunk of your chest with it. I would help, but I won't be bringing back two humans today. Go on. Go to work. No matter how fine the stitching is, no matter how precise, make your fingernails bleed. Rip it off. Good. 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 Satisfying seeing an entitled, privileged little royal tearing their royal garments, all because they're in love with a commoner. Ah, touching, isn't it? How far would you go? Enlighten me. How much would you give if only to see your little lover boy back to life? No, no, no. Anything, anything. Tell me something specific, and I'll humor you, and tell you if it would be enough to earn my favor. I want you to say something so... Repulsive and embarrassing. But when you look at that little lover boy of yours, years from now, when he's all back to life, you'll remember what you did to save him. And your heart will shudder. Remembering how disloyal you were.
everything you say will be remembered by history. I am as old as time itself. And when the world ends, I will remember what you said and what you did. Your sins will never see you. Grave. They will outlive you. They will outlive him. All right. I want to taste you again, little one. Come closer. It's with luck that I awoke this day. A willing, sweet tasting little human, a heart wrapped in chains. to give me their body, if only to bring back the one they love. What do you think will happen when finally you bring him home and he looks up at you with that little boyish grin? So happy to be alive. And you'll remember what you did. side somehow, and you pass on with no guilt, how oh, filthy of you, such a disgusting little human, no, not a human. Putting their body on the line so that they can walk away with another man. The only thing I should call you is a pathetic, worthless, turns red. It sends a shiver through me. I 
remember you mentioning how hot it was. Very poor choice of words. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. Remove your robes before I burn them off of you with you inside. Go. even better than I'd imagined. I almost don't want to touch it. It's beautiful and still, untouched, like marble. Porcelain. Perhaps I should keep you Freeze you in a block of stone so that I can look at you whenever I choose. gave you the option of letting him live in exchange for you remaining here. flows and me granted unnatural long life by my fire you might just need to lounge upon this cliff face and do whatever I tell you for eternity
the bride of the dragon. It's sweet, don't you think, little one? You seem conflicted. I don't think your heart is pure at all. You're saving this boy out of selfishness. You want to bring him home. And you want to be the one who's with him. It's not about his life, is it? It's about your place in it. His place in yours. Truly you wish to undo your mistake, then you would stay here, live as my slave, for an eternity, but I don't think you will. I think your only intention is to secure a suitor, and this boy's loyalty is all you've been looking for. <laughs> Good. Yes. Admit it. You are selfish. Selfish enough. that you would let a dragon fire breathing a hundred feet tall you would let him fuck you like a doll if only to continue your selfish little game tempted as I am. I don't suppose I want to let you have the satisfaction. Oh, you sweet little thing. You've already disrobed. Anything from here I think is fair game. You taste wonderful, little one. sort of thing has happened before. I don't suppose you thought you were the first to come seeking re redemption for one you'd lost. I've seen fate-crossed lovers wander in here time and time again, seeking some kind of benediction to have their selfish love rewarded. He 
egotistical, selfish humans all. Your love isn't pure. You like him for his good looks and his loyalty, don't you? Admit it to me. Say it. Your love isn't pure. You've already disrobed in front of a great creature and did so the first time he asked. Mm, that's it. Scream. Scream at me. Beg me to change my mind. Scream. It's like music. Oh, your screams of agony. Your pathetic little ego falling apart. Your love for him tested. can hear you is me. I'm afraid your friend won't hear your cries for mercy. But he will see you disrobed and wonder what on earth happened while he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I should ask you to do next. Tell me honestly, little human. Is your love for that boy? Is it true? Is he the only one for you? I see the way you look at me. I see the way your legs quiver. I see the way your cheeks turn red. I feel your heartbeat. And it races not from fear. <laughs> your little excuses. Oh, your little excuses. Might as well bring a tear to my eye.
think I've got an idea. A little test. If that deceitful tongue of yours won't be truthful with me, I'd imagine your body might be. What I can't get out of your mouth, I shall ask you directly. I want you to lie on your back, and not to move, not to move. If you do, if you shiver, if your legs begin to tremble, I'll know that your love is a lie. What am I going to do? Hmm. I want to do the best I can. Feel it wander down your body. Goodness me. shaking already. <laughs> I can feel her arms trembling too. You love this, don't you? You want to bring your arms down as well, don't you? If your love is pure, stop shaking. Little life. 
You might be close to finishing already. Say now, and admit that your love for him is only selfish, and I will leave you be. Is that all it takes to break your loyalty? For some ungodly beast to put his long tongue between your legs and make you squirm. creature upon a bed of jagged rocks with your lover dead behind you and still you didn't struggle to finish at all thinking perhaps you might deserve a breath of my fire to bring him back of this cliff, the one on which you stand, there is a tunnel, and within that tunnel, there is an altar, 
runes carved into its surface. Should you lay his body upon it? And should I deign it so? The boy will return. surprising. You ask me, what the catch is? Let me ask you, how diabolical of a person are how fiendish is your heart? If we're made to finish by some great beast in front of the corpse of your deceased lover, you wonder if there might be more. You wonder if you haven't done enough. I was tempted. Truly. To let the pair of you walk away together. think I'm so sure. Now I don't know if you deserve to get him back quite so easily. fool out of you some more, to remind you that when he does return, he will enter a life with you having been tainted. Unlike me, is he? In what way do you mean, 
Perhaps she's blind to your true nature. Different in that way, do you mean? Different. Different in that when you finally tell him the truth, that he might hold you and say, Oh no, my love, whatever you did, I forgive you. What kind of marriage would that be? Where you can boss him around and make him believe anything. Follow you to the end of time. Don't you think he deserves someone better? Don't you think he deserves someone unlike you? The only one you deserve, after becoming so aroused by me, the only one you deserve is me. forgetting. You seem to be misremembering. How when I set my tongue to you, you lasted barely five minutes. And I promise, I wanted it to Your poor little body gave up so quickly. <laughs> oh, is that so? While I can do what I want with your body, I'll never have your heart. Poetic, truly. Just for your insolence and your desire to fight, I gash open your chest with my teeth. And I pull your little deceitful slutty heart out. Hold it on my tongue. Show it to your lover. And swallow it in front of him. Then your heart and body will both be mine, and he will be left alone. <laughs> Scratch. 
polish off your perfect skin. Never once wound it. again after all I've said you like it when I lick up and down your back don't you conscience will forever remain your own.
like that, don't you? of what you've done. I'm going to pick you up. I would like to get a closer look at you. sides a single time. <laughs> or perhaps I want to be gentle with you. <laughs> That's one legend that is true. Your eyes seem quite transfixed. 
What was it you were saying? What was it you were saying about being pure of heart? Little one. Gazing up and down my body. With those lustful eyes. I never asked for anything. And yet here you are. Continuing to betray your little lover. you come twice. <laughs> I must confess, there is something more I would like to do. If I would so choose to bring your little lover boy back to life, you could lie to him. Tell him I was a benevolent kind of dragon, and you two would walk away from here, and he would never know the truth of what you did. But. I suppose the question is, will he forgive you? Or will your little marriage be torn apart by the lengths he went to save it? Oh. How tragic.
<laughs> Each of these fangs might well be the size of your entire body. Just a little tear down one side of you. Why don't we take it all the way? Why don't you kiss me? Put your lips together and admit how much you love this. your entire head. <laughs> I don't think you could say no even if you wanted to. But there's a part of you that enjoys that, isn't there? There's a part of you that shivers when you think. After all those years, Just one moment. You can dangle from my claws. And forget about those worries. <laughs> I would. I would so love to take your little body. it halfway down this cliff and put you to work somewhere else but I don't think your little mouth could fit around it fit around either one of them <laughs> You're very bold. Still, you look at me with that infectious defiance. I'll tell you what I'm going to do.
gentle enough not to kill you. And I'm going to scorch it. A love bite, branded by fire. I can notice you trembling. You've been waiting for a moment like this, haven't you? about your night. Well, I will say, you're well on your way to bringing him back. You're close. Closer now than ever. Some lad, isn't he? You 
seem disturbed. Now more than ever, his life is in my hands. For if you were to fight back, If you were to test me, I would drop him and his body would be beyond recovery. Hmm. And so now, I want you to do exactly as I say. This weak little armor is quite fetching, isn't it? <laughs> A gust of fire, perhaps? What do you think? too early. That's right. That's right. Kneel down next to his body. Why don't you hold him? Wrap your arms around his little waist, where his blunt little sword dangles. <laughs> it's so easy. 
ability to tell. What will make a human suffer? Drive them mad. So, tell me, little one, do you feel you've done enough? Reached my heart, made me your savior. Do you feel as though you've given yourself to me, sacrificially, body, and so, look at me. I'm sorry to say, but I think our little game ends here. desire to bring him back. I have two tasty morsels in the palm of my hands. And now that I've had my fun with you, I might just eat. Through the wind, you thought you had any chance of taking this victory. I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. So, little human. Stare into my mouth, your end. Mm. Clutching his sword, are you? Did you think you could run from me? I know you're in there. I know you found the altar. <laughs> Would it be worth it? Worth the pain, the indignation. Worth him knowing. 
all that you did. <laughs> For your insolence, fighting me, I'm almost tempted to let him live. To watch your infidelity tear his heart apart. To watch him grow to despise you. To watch the pair of you suffer. Nothing good ever came from undoing fate. But perhaps. After your insolence, nothing good is all that you deserve. Have him. Come back for me. Thank you, my lord. Where am I? Is this heaven? I should hope you aren't dead as well. <laughs> no. You saved me. <laughs> 